Well, I take it, so we need some gold. I offer you 30 gold. 30? We don't know, we don't uh, know this potion for sure. You could be talking on your ass for all we know. Well, you probably could taste it. Might might levitate your foot off the ground or something. <laughs> could be poison. Stick your pinky in there and take a little lick, little my lady. <laughs> I don't know about the potion. I don't know. That was that was a little crazy. Just then. Stick your <laughs> stick your pinky in there. What? Bar fight for that. Hey, listen, please. Watch your mouth. I'm a holy man. I didn't mean no offense. Well, keep your offense to that. I, keep, I apologize. Keep, keep your holes out of people's faces. Understand? It could holes. be a front, and it could be poison, and it could be to kill us all, and then he could take all the gold. I don't so, even have that so much what are you, gold. So what are you looking? What are you looking for? Why, How much why money would a holy man like me deceive you? I'm a holy priest of tear. It could be a front. I'll, 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 I'll let the gnome. He said fifty gold. No, I didn't say fifty gold. I, you want fifty <clears throat> gold? Yeah, so that's, we that's, want fifty that's gold. That's way, way, way too much. We offer thirty. Is there a counter offer? Because if not, then you guys are gonna have to walk wherever well, you're going. Well. I think I can I can take forty five. <laughs> so that's a five going off. No, I'm sticking with forty. Maybe thirty five. I'll be a bit generous. Uh, how about forty? That's ten gold. I mean, that's a lot of gold for a flying potion. And so is forty gold. Yeah, I agree. Thirty seven. Thirty seven point five. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you think, Dirt? You think thirty thirty seven is gonna get us to Back to Valentine. As you said, thirty-seven is a lot of gold. Like, if ten gold is a lot of gold, then thirty-seven is even more. Well, it'll get us a lot closer than where we are now. <laughs> <laughs> we really need to find that rogue and that bear, or sorry, ranger and bear. We do, we do. If they uh, run across them, we'll sweeten the pot. Maybe give them a couple extra gold to uh, to tell her we need her, and she needs to hurry back. Well, hey, we so see this ranger and bear. We'll let you know. Hey, and if you guys need to know where there's a lot of gold, if you go indoors here, there's a whole humongous sack of gold under one of those uh, gambling uh, gambling tables. So you're you're welcome to have at it and just leave my cut of whatever <laughs> whatever you think I need. Uh, That's right. Uh, on the we table. Got a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. We kind of had a run in with some black cloaked people. You been having any problems with them here? Have you seen any one of uh, of them around? Black mean, people. You mean the welcomers? No, uh, well, these these folks are kind of human. They wear black cloaks. And, hey, how and, about uh, that guy that? Uh, uh, we, about yeah. Cult. Uh, that might have been the man that we saw outside the cave that disappeared in a puff of smoke. That sounds like magic mm. culty stuff. What do you know about him? I like this. I'm gonna well, give them all that, uh, all of them inspiration. In the, the region. We've ran into a few of them in, in Vendelin, and uh, that, you know, something about dragons or something? Bingo. It sounds like we're doing. Because inside we found a uh, black dragon scale, and he was a oh, really? with the culprits. Yep, so Kay. maybe we do have something in common. Can I take a look at this uh, dragon scale? Uh, I look to my companions if it's a good idea to, yeah, to show it. Pull it out, but don't yeah. hand it to him. <laughs> pull it out! And uh, nod. Yeah. You said pull it out. Right, said pull I pull it out, it out and pull it I out. show it to him, but I, but I keep, it, keep it without uh, arm's reach. Mm. Black dragon skill, that is. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Now, my friend, you are starting to sound like me and Bandaras. <laughs> that is where I draw the line, my friend. <laughs> His boyfriend's waiting for him down. upstairs. <laughs> I fought in your uh, general direction. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm going to get back to really easy. <laughs> I told you we could take care of that Banderas guy. He's got an attitude. <laughs> He's got terrible <laughs> music, too. <laughs> He's just clueless. He's Dirt, what do you think about this scale? Dirt, stop playing tanks. And I, and I look at it. I take it away from you. Or no, I, I, I get closer to them so I can see it. And uh, I look at it and I hold on because I'm trying to think if I 
if I can come up with anything in my vast memory bank of things. <laughs> Why don't you do a, a, a roll? Why don't you do a, a history check on, on Black Dragons? And what are you trying to remember anyway, Dirt? If I if I have any kind of knowledge of this black uh, dragon scale, dragon scale, yeah. Dirt, you feeling all right, buddy? You need a hug. I think you just I think you blacked out for Pretty a second. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might just, just look up. It was just a minor <laughs> brain fart. I'm here. I'm it here. is pretty late. It is it is getting pretty late. That was just a. Just pray for it. No, I was actually thinking, oh my god, what's my cause I can't hit my character, can I? Yeah, you can uh, you can uh you can't get your character sheet, but you can actually right. uh you can, you know, click on your token and move it though. Yeah, but uh I don't know what my history check would be. Oh, uh you could just do Go into the other campaign, Derek. Uh just don't do a, a tab. Just do a plus uh, twenty and if it's good enough I'll I'll let you know some okay. information. It's a plus four. I just checked on the website. <clears throat> wow, look at that clutch. And what does a, what does a 20 mean? 5 XP. Everyone drinks. 5 XP for everybody. Alright, so... And what it's like were a moment of genius. What were you trying to recall? <laughs> yeah, he's like this this uh, this gentle giant, and all of a sudden he just has this spark of intelligence run through his body. Now, what are, what are you trying to find <laughs> out about the, uh, about the black dragon there, Dirt? Uh, just anything I might know of, of of the history of black dragons and uh... you know they have a very vicious ass uh, a very vicious acid acid breath you know that uh, they cannot be hurt by acid you also know that they can speak draconic they can speak common they live in layers for the most part and they have young as well. <clears throat> so I, but they I, are a very evil and nasty uh, opponent, and many adventurers have died at the claws okay. and, and breath of dra of black dragons. You might have met one during so, the giant fights. So giant yeah, I, I I rub my chin and I look at the party, Dave, and I say, "Oh, you know that's a that could be really dangerous for you as a group." Uh, I know a lot about dragons actually from the wars in the north the giant wars in the north and uh yeah this this particular type of dragon is very dangerous as a matter of fact it uh it has horrible acid breath it's completely disfiguring look at my dragonborn friend here he got sprayed in the face one time <laughs> mm, maybe this shield has some acid deflection resistance to it and not not only that but uh yeah, they uh if you guys have any acid weapons you plan on using, uh I probably wouldn't go there because yeah, you see you won't be very impressed with it, that's for sure. Did you say that the dragonborn got sprayed in the face with acid? Did you say yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God that is ruthless. <laughs> well, I was in the Dragonborn Wars. The, the Temples of Tear. Uh, this is what happens. <laughs> yeah, it was a clan war. They had some. They had some dragonborns that spit in acid. So she could mistake it for a real dragon to hit me in the face with it. I asked uh, Dirt. I said, uh, "How old do you think this shield is?" Since you know about dragons so much, uh, it looks to be uh, mid. Looks to be uh, mid century to me. Uh, yeah, that's what I'd say. Mid century. <laughs> mid century. So we're gonna do an antique. Roadshow and how much is it worth? Uh, let's let's discuss the potion real quick. I think we'll take that thirty-seven gold. <laughs> Why <laughs> Back. <laughs> Back to the potion. <laughs> you guys yeah, go let's, ahead. And, let's, let's solve one problem at a time here. Yeah, you guys go ahead yeah, and add the idea. add the yeah. potion of flying to your inventory. Whoever has it, and then everybody deduct. Uh, whoever chips in for the thirty-seven gold. Deduct that amount of gold off your character sheet. Now you guys have a potion of flying. Anyone else want to chip in, or is it just me? Pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I'll chip in ten gold. I like the barding. That's pretty cool. I'd like to ask them what else they've heard about dragons, and tell them that there's been a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of pop-ups of dragon stuff going on around here. Yeah, we got word uh, when we left. Uh, uh, God, what's the freaking name of that Vandalin? 
Not Fandolin, uh, Waterdeep. Ah. Uh, or no, we right. left Neverwinter. We left, yeah, we had words that uh, sort of more dragons popping up. Speaking of black uh, dragons, that black that's a black dragon scale. Is there a black dragon around here somewhere? Where'd you guys get that? We uh, found it in a in a in a cave, off that's of a, a bug off of a bugbear, bug off of a bugbear. Mm -hmm. A bugbear mm -hmm. doing with a dragon scale. That's what we want. We would like to find out. He's mm -hmm. using it, it as a shield. It sounded like um, those cultists you mentioned were interacting with them, so we might have got it off those cultists. Interesting. Seems like someone's buying and or selling um, dragon items, including eggs, around here. Llama Smurf. Well, there's a lot of dra Thank dragon you for the follow, Llama Smurf. Something about mm -hmm. uh, some type of movement going on. A lot of mm -hmm. dragon attacks and a lot of attacks on towns and stuff. Well, what the rumors have been. Hmm. If you guys find anything, here's, here's my phone number. Uh, you can <laughs> just call me whenever you <laughs> say my phone number. Just put my no my gnome phone. And <laughs> <laughs> just text us. I sure will, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> you know, I got that navigation system in my my uh, gnome phone. Oh, is that the gnome they got, two point oh? New one. It kind of you put it in your pocket. It bends. Sucks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have one of those. Yeah, my, you guys I, are might have to go to Samsung. Gnome technology. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm an Apple level. guy myself. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Pat, our gnome on the shoulder. I wish he could do something like that. Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Cool yet? Hey, I've got a giant, uh, or not a giant, i got a Tiamat toy dry, that I spent 10 gold on and tinker with every single day to keep alive. Well, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but one of these no, days... No, wait, no, what you alive, or do you keep it alive? I will, I will whip it out one of these days, and you guys can take a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to whip it, out... No, uh, no, it, okay. it's, a, it's a toy Tiamat that I created. That, that It's a little dragon, and you, you put it on the ground, and it kind of wiggles around. You know, kind of like the. Oh, Tiamat. Oh, oh, Tiamat. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's the gnomish accent. Oh, okay. You're a gnome, huh? Never seen one. You're really small. Yeah, gnomes are small. <laughs> I probably can, like, step on you. And I've no, I, luckily, I'm standing on the table, so. Oh, well, yeah, I see that. I like so how they... they're more fascinated by a short person than someone with a tail and corn sticking out of her head. <laughs> you are awfully pretty. <laughs> but, you know, I am a holy man. I do have uh, some uh, standards. 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 It's not that holy men have standards. Wow, well, the no, ugly no. dragonborn just said he has standards. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I pat Bane it's, on the back and say it's okay. Uh, okay, it's fine. I, I actually oh have standards as well. I'd prefer if your face wasn't half melted though. Oh do we um do we know the name of their friend? did we ask uh what the what the ranger and bear's name are in case we run into them? What is your uh, what is your uh, your ranger's name and his bear and the bear you speak of? Well, she's a She's a female, for one. She's gonna, you know, look pretty good, but really stinks. I mean, she, <laughs> she smells worse than I look, and then, you know, smells worse than the bear. Her bear probably smells a lot better than she does. Why does, why she, does she stink? Does she have a name? Her name's Vey. She calls him Bear Boris. <laughs> well, if we see them, we'll uh, point them in their direction. Unbelievable. And where are you guys heading off to? We we're hoping we can find her here. We're gonna look around some more, but we're back heading back down to Fenlin. We got some more tr uh, more uh, more things we have to take care of down there. But yeah, we're really we trying get... to find our our ranger friend, and she's been missing for a while. And we just got word that she needed help, so we we made a mad dash up here to Fan. Well, place. if we ever get some word to her, maybe we'll send. Uh, we'll keep a message using a uh, a bird. Uh, a pigeon, a pigeon carrier. We appreciate that very much. Yeah, because you know how pigeons work. You just say who you want them to fly to. And that's mm -hmm. how it all. Yeah. Well, yeah. Send text to Dirt the Dead. Come on, 
come over here to the table with me. I, I got a rough draft of it, a uh, rough sketch of the, the land here. I can show you where Fandolin uh, is. Kind of like south of uh, Neverwinter. <clears throat> Dave, that's a, that's a pretty was, incredible sketch. I was born in <laughs> I know, right? Dave, I was born in Waterdeep, so I, would I know where this place is? Uh, uh you, location? you would hear give me a give me a history check actually. Give me a history check real quick. Yeah, my character's also from Waterdeep. Alright. If you're from Waterdeep or Neverwinter, give me a history check. And if you're you know, if, well give me a uh, you know an intelligence check or uh, an add wisdom in. Well, yeah, intelligence and then add history if you're proficient in it. So, kind of glad I'm getting on these bad rolls now. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a small place over here. All right, so, so I, I... you guys see where Never Enter, Never Winter is right here. You guys know that around this area here in the sword. Well, Warren, right between here. Between the crags and the Sword Mountains. Correct. Basically, uh, on not not between. Uh, it's basically on the mountain range of of the Sword Mountains. On the low mountain range. It's not actually in the mountains, fan, but yes. The yes. Right just <laughs> Fandolin is right here, and actually, I'm going to put a dot on the map to represent this. So, and I will also uh, right now I will put it on the map. So, you guys can go ahead and RP that, and I'll I'll put it on there. Okay, so this little this little smidget right next to Sword Mountains you're speaking of? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of nestled into the, the foothills there. Kind of a, well, black hole just over <laughs> on that. <laughs> get, get, get your finger oh off, the Garfunkel, get your finger off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. It's a big city. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you assholes, I love it. <laughs> I had to touch it. Uh, Alright, well, there we go. Well, I'm here. I'm. I was born here in Waterdeep. Uh, fine town that is. If Been you ever a couple times. I'm a part of a of an organization there. Uh, we'll talk more about it later. Like the Boy Scouts or? Uh... Yeah, the Boy Scouts of Waterdeep <laughs> <laughs> chapter. He's an Eagle Scout. Everybody <laughs> loves the halfling. I, I put Scouts. I put my 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 hand my hand out with a circle. It's like. What was your service project to get that ranking? <laughs> well, I gotta say, my the sold cookies. No, no, no. I'm I'm actually smaller than a little boy. They prefer boys, uh, little boys. Oh, God damn, guys! <laughs> <laughs> that that escalated quickly. <laughs> it did. It got out of hand yeah, almost. With the priest in the church, so, you know, Here like, comes the hate mail. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Actually, we have a we already have a priest here that has troubles with with his church, and we don't need more. There you go. So there's there's where Fandolin is roughly. It's not 100 percent accurate, but it, it is in that area right there. All right. Well, you guys know where this place is, and uh, we'll uh, we'll keep in touch. Uh, we'll definitely use our pigeons to keep in contact every every week or so. As you can tell, we're <laughs> far away from home. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you so, uh, guys are you guys are right here. So as you can see, Flan is right here. I'm pinging the map right there. Wow, but you said a little jaunt. Maybe you chugged about thirty flying potions before you actually had this one left over. Yeah, you're you're basically about fourteen hundred fourteen hundred and fifty miles, basically. <laughs> it's like, that's, crow it's like, that's like five six days of uh, traveling in there. Yeah, if you're on a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take this uh this map and uh scroll it up. Do you have like a rough drawing of what Bay looks like? Maybe we can put like posters around or something or not? Yeah, we'll parchments around. Lost bear. Lost bear. I have a feeling we'll recognize her. Thank That's you, Crasher. The giant, stinky lady with the bear. FYI, I got a good whiff of her scent, so I think I'll uh, recognize it. Well, All right, looks like we have a, a a dog hound here. She she looks a little. She smells worse than that that finger. Thank she you, Crasher, for the sub. I appreciate it, Crasher. I hold my finger back up and I say, "Is everybody else sure they don't want to sniff?" <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty positive. 
I put my fingers on my nose when he does this. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't know how yeah. they like the smell. You guys are great. I say well. I say I say. I say, well, it was very nice meeting all of you. And as I say that, Dave, I look at the uh, the tiefling and give her like nod and that wink. And then I bite uh, oh, up eyes. to my ear and my pinky to my mouth, and I'm like, oh. but, by the way, did you guys notice it's yeah. really quiet in here? That damn bard is gone. You guys scared him away. I thought you'd be happy about that. But thank you. We we we. I not I bow. Thank you. No. Any of you musical in here? Hey. You must... Oh, there is music. You must oh, be no, back. back. <laughs> I hear music. Damn, Dominic is next door. I mean, <laughs> the bard. <laughs> Bandettis is the back in... Let me go back in, the, in there. Just carry him off. Bandettis. Whoa, that's really loud for me. You can turn it down hit the cogwheel. Uh, uh, what's this cog... Italian. Wait, where's his volume at? I don't... The cogwheel. Wait. Top right wait. hand corner. Oh, top right he's, hand corner. He's trying to role play where the bar <laughs> oh, is. Uh, <laughs> show me where this is. Roger. Yes, the first year. You know, that, that circle thing with teeth on it. Just yeah, go to the bar and stop wheel. him and he'll play it. Ah, ah, no. <laughs> I th I, I, I'm a halfling, but thank you. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> that guy is so confused. They're all the same. He's <laughs> he is so confused about who's who from the voice. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that, that half face, he only has like one good eye and it's all foggy. <laughs> <laughs> only thing he can detect things by is by hearing it. And he's just basically chased off that girl or the uh, bard so he'll know what the heck's going on. Do you remember people by smell? I put my finger in my armpit and I wiggle around and oh, yeah. put it towards his nose. I, I jump when I do like it. Roses. I jump. I just had, just had, had one of those stimmy uh, rose baths, you, you weirdo. You weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kettle, you're black. <laughs> I think you two need to get a room. Thank you, Crasher. <laughs> this is getting weird. I smell his finger, Dave, and I <laughs> say, mm, ages, "You man. smell fancy." <laughs> All right. You know, any any time the role playing starts out with "I smell his finger, Dave," it's that's bad. probably a good <laughs> place to. This is a good segue to uh, start heading out. All right. So, Banderas gets back to his uh, his chair. He starts to you know he's bowing in as everyone is clapping as he's entering the the, the room again. By the time you get back here, Bard. <laughs> Thank you, Crasher. I appreciate it. It's horrible. All right. So he sits down. His loot, uh, he breaks his loot out of his bag and he starts playing. All right. So what are you guys doing? I say we follow the uh, large hatted grave digger. He's brother, probably either dead or asleep. Brother of Keith <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, was, I was thinking that too. Brother of yeah, Keith He's bored out of his mind. He's, he's sitting there just kind of rolling his fingers on the table, going, Whenever you're ready, my friends. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I thought you would have forgot that accent by now, but. Uh, nope. Pretty good job. It's pretty good. <clears throat> well, All uh, right. This is about tombs? Uh, let's go, guys, before they, uh, they interrupt us some more. <laughs> yeah, it's about tombs. The pay-up is 150 gold. You need to pay us now, and then we'll let you go. <laughs> you guys oh, did such a great job, and I, I, want to, uh, I want to go ahead and give every single one of you an inspiration point. I know some of you guys already have inspiration, but... We all do. Okay, yeah, so anyways, you guys, yeah, you guys don't get any more inspiration, but now Dirt yeah. and Warhuck, you guys will have inspiration in your game because I, I appreciate you guys doing this, right, coming over, and, you know, it's like I've, I've been saying for several months now that I want to intermingle my games with one another, and, you know, it is going to start happening on a uh, pretty pretty regular basis. So Very nice. Awesome. Uh, <clears throat> so I uh, give him my, uh, what someone said in chat, uh, I know number to him. <laughs> So you guys know where Fandolin is. The, you know where the group is actually going to be. They're going to be in the Fandolin area. They know that you're here in the Flan area. Maybe something down in the future uh, can can work out between the two groups. Maybe during the Friday group as well. So yeah. Yeah. We, have some, we have some questions they can answer. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to find her. She's why, she's in trouble. why was she up here? Why do you suspect she's in this area? Uh, she left us in our, our 
we had a, uh, a mission and uh, she left us to saying that she's got some personal business that she had to attend to and, uh, nope, well, we went about our business and let her do her thing she's kind of a free spirit, spirit as, a, as herself anyways she might be a little awesome. bit of an alcoholic. <laughs> and they're drunk mess all the time, so we're like, we'll, we'll meet you in, 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 in Fendlin. She's not the most reliable <laughs> of uh, adventurers. Thursday and but Saturday in St. Cobalt. For sure Big Dirt we'll and keep Warhawk. our eyes peeled. Well, safe travels to you, friends, and may mm -hmm. dear be with you. Don't let the door hit your own way up. Take it easy, Norton. <laughs> wow. I thought we were leaving. Wait, what? Yeah, you guys are leaving. We're staying. You guys stay in the bar. You're not walking out of the bar. Yeah. No. No. no, I, no. I say. Yeah. Uh, that, that bar. Have you seen my my friend? And then go put his loot over his head. If you need a few more gold pieces, I I point towards the game where they're where I was gambling, and I say. Uh, one of those guys has a bag with a few extra coin you might be able to barter for. Mm, Dirt might be able to do that. He's pretty good at that stuff. He's a cunning, cunning, cunning type of person. <clears throat> I might just have to win me some money. All right, guys. So I totally, uh, I totally appreciate you guys stopping by tonight. I really do. Yep. Thank man, you guys. Fun. Thanks, Thank you guys. That was fun. Talk more later for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. Hey, Dirt, mm -hmm. what up? See you, man. Alright, so, you guys, you guys get, uh, you guys head out of the, the tavern with O'Keefe McCorders, Brother O'Keefe McCorders. You, you know, you bid farewell to both, uh, Rogan and Big Dirt the Daring. And you guys head off. You guys are, you guys are off to the, the graveyard here, the Valhingian graveyard, to investigate a crypt. The supposedly the one of the longest standing residents of uh, of the Valhingian graveyard uh, possibly has some dragon bones that are buried with her. So that's why Brother O'Keefe McCorder is going to investigate because uh, he and his supervisor or boss, whatever you want to say, think that you know these bones could be in there. And plus, with all of the the cultist activity as of late. You know, there, there could be problems with this. But a lot of the, the other clerics in the church actually deny these claims, and, and that's why, pretty much why O'Keefe McCorder has, has hired you. So you guys mm -hmm. leave the tavern, you head over to the graveyard, and uh, it's 10 o'clock, let's take a quick break. You guys were actually in the tavern for two hours, holy shit.